In recent years, the field of nanotechnology has witnessed significant advancements, one of which is the development of up-converting nanoparticles, UCNPs. These unique materials exhibit the remarkable ability to absorb low-energy photons such as infrared light and re-emit them at higher energies, typically in the visible or ultraviolet range. This phenomenon, known as up-conversion, opens up a wide range of applications across various scientific and technological disciplines. Today, we'll explore the fundamental principles behind UCNPs, their synthesis methods, and their growing array of applications in fields ranging from biomedical imaging to renewable energy. Upconverting nanoparticles are a class of nanomaterials that display a unique optical behavior. They can absorb multiple low-energy photons and convert them into a higher-energy photon. This process is called upconversion, and it involves a combination of nonlinear optical processes within the nanoparticles. This upconversion phenomenon typically occurs through a process known as photon multiplication, where two or more photons are absorbed simultaneously and re-emitted at a higher energy. Its energy conversion mechanisms include excited state absorption and energy transfer upconversion. The upconversion process often involves intermediate excited states within the nanoparticles, where electrons are excited to higher energy levels through absorption of infrared photons. These excited states then relax in a way that results in the emission of higher energy photons. The energy transfer upconversion mechanism involves a sensitizer ion, often a rare earth element like ytterbium, YB3+, which absorbs the incoming photons and transfers energy to an activator ion such as erbium, R3+, or thulium, TM3+, causing it to emit photons at a higher wavelength. UCNPs have a variety of synthesis methods. One common method involves a hydrothermal or solvothermal reaction, where the precursors are dissolved in a solvent and heated to high temperatures in a sealed container. This method allows for good control over the size and morphology of the nanoparticles. In the co-precipitation method, metal salts are mixed with a solvent followed by a precipitation step to form UCNPs. This technique is relatively simple and scalable, making it a cost-effective method for large-scale production. Another method is the sol gel method, where metal organic precursors undergo a chemical reaction to form nanoparticles in a sol or gel state which can then be calcined to obtain the final UCNPs. Surface modification is critical to improve the solubility, stability, and biocompatibility of UCNPs. Common techniques include ligand exchange, silica coating, and polymer conjugation. The size, composition, and surface properties of UCNPs are critical to their optical properties. Smaller particles tend to have better fluorescence properties, while compositional variations can tune the emission wavelength allowing for precise control over the upconversion emission. One of the key advantages of UCNPs is their sharp emission bands, which result in highly specific and tunable fluorescence. This makes them ideal for applications requiring precise wavelength control, such as multiplexed imaging. UCNPs exhibit high resistance to photobleaching, making them more stable over time than traditional organic dyes or quantum dots, which are prone to degradation under intense light exposure. UCNPs, especially those based on lanthanide ions, are known for their excellent thermal and chemical stability, making them suitable for use in harsh environments such as high temperatures or chemically aggressive conditions. UCNPs are capable of absorbing multiple low-energy photons simultaneously, which can be advantageous in various applications such as deep tissue imaging, where infrared light penetrates more effectively than visible light. UCNPs have emerged as promising candidates for fluorescence imaging in biological systems due to their minimal background interference, high tissue penetration, and narrow emission spectra. They allow for deep tissue imaging with high spatial resolution. UCNPs can be conjugated with therapeutic molecules, enabling them to serve as carriers for targeted drug delivery. The upconversion process can also be utilized for controlled release, triggered by near-infrared light. The use of UCNPs in photodynamic therapy involves their ability to generate reactive oxygen species, ROS, under light irradiation, which can selectively kill cancer cells while minimizing damage to surrounding healthy tissue. 
UCNPs are also being explored in the field of solar energy harvesting. By converting infrared light, which constitutes a significant portion of sunlight into higher energy visible or ultraviolet light, UCNPs can be used to enhance the efficiency of solar cells. In sensor applications, UCNPs are used to detect biological molecules or environmental pollutants. Their unique optical properties enable them to serve as highly sensitive probes, even in low concentration samples. The ability of UCNPs to convert infrared light to visible light makes them valuable in optoelectronics, particularly for applications in displays and lighting systems. Despite the promising properties of UCNPs, the upconversion efficiency remains a challenge, as it is typically low and requires optimization of both the particle size and the energy transfer processes. While UCNPs have shown great potential in biomedical applications, concerns about their long-term biocompatibility and potential toxicity need to be addressed. Surface modifications play a key role in reducing toxicity. Scalable synthesis methods that can produce high-quality UCNPs at a lower cost remain a significant hurdle. Future advancements in UCNPs will likely focus on improving their efficiency, enhancing biocompatibility, and exploring new applications such as nanomedicine, photonic devices, and energy storage. Upconverting nanoparticles are an exciting and versatile class of nanomaterials with wide-ranging applications, particularly in the fields of biomedical imaging, therapy, and renewable energy. While challenges remain in optimizing their properties and ensuring their safe use, the potential of UCNPs is vast. As research continues, we can expect even more innovative uses for these remarkable materials in the near future. Thank you for watching.